I thought door knocking is dead for real estate agents. But I met a guy the other day, one of our investment property, and he's an agent from Toronto who said like their main source of lead generation is door knocking. And in this market, the current market situation. So in this video, he's going to share how he's generating like huge whole lot of leads from door knocking, how many door knocking they do a week. And you know, what is the script they're using, how to handle the objections, all those related to door knocking in this video. Stay tuned. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. So if you're new here, welcome again. Just uh, on this channel, I talk a lot about real estate sales and real estate investing, you know, how to achieve financial freedom using both the vehicles. So like I mentioned in this video, we're going to talk about door knocking and also, you know, learn about my good friend here who crushing it using door knocking to, you know, excel in his real estate sales business. So Ara, thank you so much, brother, for your time. Um, no, welcome to the channel. Thank you for having me, Aditya. Yeah, so, you know, when you first met, when, when we met in person, when you said, like, you know, I do door knocking and 75 door knockings a week, <laughs> I'm like, really, is it still working? <laughs> so that's how I met you. And I was really blown away that, you know, door knockings are still working. So that really got my interest because so far, I haven't talked about door knocking because I didn't find anyone who is crushing. I have seen people, you know, did door knocking, but didn't had that much success. So that's why I thought I'll bring you here. So, you you know, to, to share some light on that. Before we yeah, get into course. that, first of all, who are you, you know, uh, for people who don't know you? Um, so for the people that don't know me, um, I am Era Khan. I'm a real estate agent in the greater Toronto area. Um, and I've been in the business for about uh, this October will be a full four years for me. That's uh, that's what I do. Um, I like to I was starting my business off with a lot of smaller projects, but now I'm going into the luxury market. Um, yeah. So that's that's basically me. Um, and then so just uh, what I like to focus on is um, is luxury market, uh, like bigger properties. We 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 do a lot of projects in Caledon and we mm -hmm. do a lot of projects in Vaughan and Kleinbrook. If you're not familiar, it's in the northern side, um, Peel and York region. Um, so last year uh, we did our average sale was about 1.8 million. 1.8, wow. Yeah, 1.8 million on our That's average. That's like five, six sales for me in Windsor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a different market right so yeah. it, all, it all depends right and i'll get into that too right the difference because sure. i've done the the you know the townhouses and the houses that are in the one million market right mm -hmm. um and then this year you know and we did we finished our whole team i'm, I'm a part of a team called team sigvinder um mm -hmm. you know last year we did uh top 12 in canada yeah and 24th and worldwide and that was for the full year of 2021 across all of Remax's. Mm -hmm. um, and this year we're projected to do better than that, right? So the goal is to always get better every year. Yep, yep. How many sales have you guys did last year? So sales wise, I believe last year we did a little over 200 million. 200 then, million. Ooh. Yeah, 200 million. And this year we're projected to do double that. Wow. So, and 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 um, you know how many your personal transactions that you have uh, did from those 200. So out of the 200 million, so last year, I actually joined the team halfway through the year. Mm -hmm. um, so I was, uh, I began with Royal LePage. I was in that team for a little while. And then mm -hmm. when I heard about Team Sigvinder and I joined that team, I, I joined it about halfway through the year. So with them, just with the team alone, I did a little bit around like 10 to 12 million of that. Wow. Wow. Still crazy. So, you know, there definitely there are a lot of questions that I want to ask in terms of team structure as well, because a lot of newbies, they're like, you know, I'm, I'm new to the business. Um, do I join a team or do I go on my solo? So what is your one word advice for them? So like my advice to them would be like just being a single solo agent. I did roughly about five to six million in mm -hmm when I first started, it was like taking me a whole year to do that. Right. Last yeah. year, I did about five, six million by myself in just like three months. Right. And that's so yeah. I had a little bit of experience. But when I joined the team last year, I was with the team when I joined a, a, a good team, when you join a, a good team leader, yeah. we did, I did about, you know, anywhere from nine to 11 million in six months. Right. And so that's clearly that, that's coming from a good a good team leader. So a mentor is yeah. really, really, really beneficial. Um, you may think that it's not um, because maybe they take have heftier commission structures and this and that. But to be honest, like it's you learn much more. Your clients get a much better experience. Um, so as an as a new agent, please 
hire a mentor that helps you yeah. um, and someone that is experienced, someone you can trust and, and, and learn the business first so that you're yeah. ultimately your clients are even better um, you know, serviced. Yeah, love that, man. You know, honestly, you nailed it. Uh, that, that's exactly my opinion about. So <laughs> tell us this, like how many doors did you knock uh, and, and your team this month or this week? So now to crunch into the numbers, so, you know, what we do as a team is um, I'll take, let's say, you know, we pick, let's say Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, we work, <laughs> we take one day off. Okay. Okay. And that day, even we're still working because we're trying to organize our, our leads. But anyways, so mm. at those six days, what you're doing is you're getting with a teammate or you, a, a partner and you're going to each door. Now, there's two ways to go about it, okay? For agents that are listening to this, you know, you can go and target expired or terminated listings, um, or you mm -hmm. can go to an area where you either know very well, you, you're farming that area, or maybe you sold something in that area, right? So this is like giving an agent a reason to go to the house. Love that. So you, if you're knocking like 100 doors, probably you can expect four to five. So, um, so that, and if you're doing an area, let's say you sold one, two, three, you know, all Albany street, right? Every house on Albany street is right next to each other. Right. So you'll be yep. able to hit 75 to hundred doors in a week. If you, if you really focus, right. Like you can do yep. it. It's very doable. But you know, when you started, like when you're in your first year, second year, like how many you used to do to just yeah, give 100%. an idea, like for someone new, they want to do door knocking, but yeah. don't know how many door knockings can get them one listing. Yeah, hundred percent. When I first started, it was every, like five to six days a week. I'm doing anywhere from six to eight hours a day. Like even if it was raining, even if it was mm -hmm. raining, I would go because now the homeowner is like, wow, this guy is such a hardworking guy. He's actually yeah. even working in the rain, right? How many agents are just going to sit at home, wait for the, the phone to ring, right? So, yep. you know, you're, you're, and, and a lot of people kind of give you business because you're working so hard. So when you're going for this door knocking, right? First, what is your pre-preparation and uh, what do you do at the door knocking? Like, you know, what are the things you say? Yeah. So let's say you're an agent and you just sold a property on a street, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you have a, you have, you want to go to a house You say, Hey, look, you know, um, you introduce yourself first. I'm Era Khan from Remax Realty Specialist and um, with Team Sigvinder. Um, I'd like to, uh, you know, I'd like to let you know, we just sold this property down the street, your neighbor's home, right? Mm -hmm. Always say neighbor because it's kind of generic and they kind of yep. feel like right down the street and say, you know, I just sold your neighbor's home. Um, we had it sold in X amount of days. If it's a low amount of days, highlight the, the pressure points, right? You sold yep. it in three days. You sold it for over asking or you sold it at asking, right? So you mm -hmm. say what you did very, very quick because their attention span is very short. And does um, it that and the listing has to be your listing or even your team listing? You say we sold. Yeah, either or, right? Once you're on a team, everything is, is shareable to you. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's the, that's the best part about being on a team, right? Yep. yep. Um, so you go there and you say, Hey, look, I just sold that property for X amount and X amount of days. You know, I'd love to, you know, give you an opportunity. I just wanted to know if you ever had thoughts and ideas of selling your home. Mm. If they say no, no problem. Do you mind if I, you know, take your contact information down that you're, 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 you know, um, we could send you, you know, um, information via email, or I can just follow up with you in a couple of months and maybe your, your situation will change. I'd like to be the first person you think of, you know, that. and that's if they say no, right. If they say yes, you know, I was thinking about it, me and my wife, we were discussing it, this and that. Well, that's fantastic. Look, you know, um, you know, you may have a lot of friends and family that are agents, but this is an agent that works really hard. I just sold that property. I have lots of agents that couldn't mm. get that property that may want to buy yours. And I'm happy to sit down with you for a listing presentation just to introduce myself and what my team does. And hopefully we can gain your business. Yeah. So, if I, if I, I were the seller, I would definitely would have sold for that words. Love that, man. And, you know, uh, for someone new, want to completely blind about this door knocking, what are the first few steps that you would suggest to recommend like doing um, you know, start doing. So I think as a brand new agent, you know, I think you should really master the Stratus MLS. Like you should master that, that system, um, to how to look up listings and, and really study that market. Um, I will say if you're a new agent and you haven't farmed any area, um, it's going to be very challenging, right? Because mm -hmm. people don't know your name. People don't know who you are. So what yeah. I would do is just go to the exact same area over and over and over again. Or if you don't mind, 
travel and go to an area where there's not a lot of realtors. There's not a lot of hype mm. in that area, right? If you're a brand new agent, you may not want to start downtown Toronto, right? You may want to start in, you know, somewhere like in Cambridge or Guelph or, or, or Milton, somewhere, a smaller community where they may not have as many agents, right? Mm -hmm. um, and start small there, right? And try to build a name for yourself. Yeah, love that, man. And do you have any script that you follow? Is there any like, yeah. you know, recommendations that you guys definitely start with an intro? Um, be very, be very to the point. Nobody wants to act, like, don't ask them how their day is. They don't know who you are. Hmm. Right. Um, so tell them who you are. Tell them why you're there and what you can bring them to the value. Um, and then say that, you know, I'd let me get your contact information so I can provide you with more information in much greater detail. And if they actually want to hear you and do business with you, they'll give you that information. If they don't yeah. want to do business and they don't want to hear you, then just politely leave and say, no problem. Sorry to bother you and walk on. It's a numbers game. You have to hit more and more. It, doesn't it uh, bother you? Like, you know, when people shut door on your face all the time, do you know how many times I'll hit, uh, I'll hit, I'll door knock someone and they say they're not interested. They, I see their property get listed on MLS or on realtor.ca and I see it. And then, you know, 30 days, 60 days later, it doesn't sell. Right. And yeah. I reapproach them. I said, you know, I could still do it. Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes it happens like that. You know, they apologize to me. They're like, I should have listened to you in the beginning. And sometimes, you know, um, they just don't ever call you because now they're too, too embarrassed to call you. Yeah. Right. So, so the more you get to that, like the more you get out of your comfort, do those door knockings, get those, uh, you know, rejections, because now you're becoming a better person. Like you're, un you're understanding. And if you give up, then probably sales is not for you. Not for you. So don't be intimidated, really attack it. And, you know, like a lot of these agents that are doing heavy numbers, they're going to recognize it. They're going to want you to be on their team. Right. Yep. Um, so, so that's it. You have to get rid of that shyness. And that's just yes. one way. Right. Especially on your channel, because there's a lot of people watching your, your videos, you know, door knocking is just one way. Social media is just one way. There are yep. plenty of ways to generate more and more leads. Yeah. Yeah. Love it, man. Again, you know, great advice. Um, just a one final question I want to ask, like, uh, and then um, do, do you have any, you know, recommended books or, you know, any channels that you follow specifically, uh, any names that you would recommend? Yeah. Um, so I'm on audio books all the time, mm -hmm. right? So I have listened to everything on, you know, from Ryan Serhan's books, Josh Walton's yeah. book, you know. Um, Anything specific to door knocking? Is there any specific book that is your favorite? In specific to door knocking, no. Um, there is one book. So a book that I have is called The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. Um, I have Brian Tracy, listened yes. to that book probably five to six times from beginning to end. And I like, I literally have it on, on my, while I'm driving, I drive a lot. The psychology right? of selling. Psychology of selling by Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy. I'll make sure to put it on the screen. So fantastic book. It's a great read. Um, it gives you a lot of, you know, insight on how to approach different scenarios. And I think as an agent, it's a great place to start. Awesome, man. This is a really cool tips that even I personally learned because, you know, I, I quit door knocking on my day one. I only did once. So uh, <laughs> really great to learn and see it's working even in this market. So awesome, man. So thank you so much. Uh, definitely we'll bring you on uh, later in future to do, do more content, something on this subject. If uh, more audience ask about it and where can people find you? Yeah. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram at real estate with era. Okay. Um, I'll make sure to put on the screen. So that's really about it. And any little last advice, I would honestly say like real estate is a great, great tool um, and vehicle to, you know, um, like you always say, you know, to the road to freedom. Right. Yep. Um, and I think that that is a, is a great way for any agents to start, you know, listening to your channel or, or listening to mine. It's great, great little tap uh, tactics that kind yep. of help you get started. Um, but for more in-depth, you know, advice and detail, um, contact Aditya and he'll definitely help you out. Um, but I appreciate you so much, man, for having me on your video. Um, no, uh, thank you. You, you, you got some work. great advice. It's great. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button and make sure to follow Ara on his Instagram, you know, go check out his channel because, you know, I see you started to get into social media a lot. So yeah, man, thank you so much. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. You too, buddy. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button to help this video to share it with more people.